Anis Pradeep Pendiala, your buddy, the professor of anesthesiology. And today I am going to talk briefly about general anesthesia. How it works on patients or human beings and the mechanism of producing it and how it actually works inside the body. The, the theory and the action of general anesthetics. That's what I'm going to explain right now. How to produce general anesthesia. Okay. Well, to induce unconsciousness, anesthetics have myriad means too many sites of action and effect on the central nervous system at multiple levels. Common areas of central nervous system whose functions are interrupted or changed during general anesthesia include cerebral cortex, thalamus, reticular activating system and spinal cord. Now current theories on the anesthetized state identify not only target sites in the CNS but also neural networks and loops whose interruption is linked with unconsciousness. <clears throat> now you have to know two important places how it works. Potential pharmacologic targets of general anesthetics are usually GABA. They say it GABA, GABA. It's not GABA. It is gamma aminobutyric acid receptors. Glutamate receptors, voltage gated, ion channels, and glycine and serotonin receptors. Mainly, there are two receptors GABA receptor. Most of the general anesthetics works on GABA receptor, and remaining receptors are important are NMDA receptors, N methyl D aspartate receptor. And they have to be the anesthetic agent should be antagonist because it's a uh, we have to antagonize the NMDA receptor. So that's how it works. Ketamine works with that. And uh, other thing is nitrous oxide and uh, xenon are NMDA receptors antagonists. So the other one, as I said, glutamate and GABA. Most of the drugs, we call it GA, thiopentone, amidazolam and um, propofol all these work on GABA receptor that's how it works interesting ain't it well uh, you know a variety of drugs are normally administered for giving anesthesia mainly what we do is produce unconsciousness we produce amnesia uh, as I said NMDA receptors are excitatory receptors which need to be antagonized and GABA receptors are uh, Basically, we facilitate it to make further depression in consciousness. That's how it works. Now, it, we have to produce unconsciousness and amnesia. Now, among the word amnesia, there are two parts. Retrograde amnesia and anterograde amnesia. Like a drug called anxiolytic, we give metazolum during pre-medication. That how it works. It is anterograde amnesia it produces. That means the patient doesn't remember whatever happens after that drug being administered. That is what we want. The unpleasant happening in the operation theater. We don't want patient to remember that and would have nightmares subsequently. We don't want him to remember that. And retrograde is before the giving of that drug if a patient forgets. That is called retrograde amnesia and we definitely won't like it. So we preferably give metazolin which produces anterograde amnesia. Now we need to produce amnesia, unconsciousness and muscle relaxation. Unless muscles are relaxed, the surgeons cannot operate in the abdomen, obviously, isn't it? So and besides that we need analgesia, the patient should not have pain. So these are the triad of anesthesia. Uh, narcosis, um, then muscle relaxation, airflexia and analgesia. So this is it. So depending on how we produce these three, this combination of drugs, we give anesthesia. Okay. So that's how it works. Now I'll explain a little further because that will become very interesting. There used to be a very famous person called Ernest Goodell. 
he described four stages of anesthesia. Once we give anesthetic agents in the operation theater, the patient passes through four stages of anesthesia. Stage one is stage of induction. That means the period between administration of induction agents and loss of consciousness. During this stage, the patient progresses from analgesia without amnesia to analgesia with amnesia. Patient can carry on a conversation also at this stage. That is the beginning of giving anesthesia. That means we have just given the induction agent. Then, uh, second stage, and now I must tell you, either we give it with the gaseous form like nitrous oxide, sevoflurin or halothane, these thing agents or in the intravenous uh, form. Intravenous we give normally thiopentone or propofol or ketamine, such drugs for producing anesthesia. Once you give this drug, as I said, stage 1, I just described. Stage 2, the patient goes through an excitement stage. That is the period followed after consciousness, loss of consciousness and marked by excited and delirious activity. During this stage, the patient's respiration and heart rate may become irregular. In addition, there may be uncontrolled movements, vomiting, suspension of breathing, pupillary dilatation, such things take place in the stage 2. If you give further a little bit the drug, the patient goes, to, goes into stage 3 and that is known as surgical anesthesia stage. It is further classified in four planes. In the plane 1, the eyes will be rolling. This is plane 2, corneal and laryngeal reflexes disappear. That's what we require. When we put an endotracheal tube, the laryngeal reflexes should not be present. Otherwise, the patient will start bucking, will not tolerate the endotracheal tube. Then in the third plane, the pupils start dilating and light reflexes lost. And further on the fourth plane, intercostal paralysis and shallow abdominal respiration occur. This is the various planes of stage 3 and that is the stage where surgical anesthesia properly takes place and that's where the surgeon works comfortably because of arguing anesthesia. And stage 4, that is a dangerous thing. If we go on giving more of this anesthetic agent, the patient can go into brainstem or medullary depression, resulting in cessation of respiration and potentially cardiovascular collapse. So this is how it takes place. I hope you have loved, you have liked and understood what is general anesthesia is all about. Have a wonderful day and uh, happy weekend in advance today being Friday and 10th of June 2022. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.